whenever you speak to a king, a judge, a prime minister, a person of authority, there's typically an etiquette that needs to be observed. There's a protocol that needs to be followed. When we speak to Allah Azza wa Jal, we have to be mindful that we are addressing the king of kings, the ultimate authority, and hence there is an etiquette that needs to be observed. Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam, he says, giving us the proper etiquette to follow when we engage in dua, he says, إِنَّمَا هِيَ الْمِدْحَةِ ثُمَّ الْإِقْرَارُ بِالذَّنْبِ ثُمَّ الْمَسْأَلَةِ When you speak to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the first thing that you should do is that you have to praise Him. In the same way that when you address a king, you say, Your Majesty. When you address a judge, you say, Your Honor. You recognize their authority. When you speak to Allah, before you ask Him for anything, you have to acknowledge who He is. إِنَّمَا هِيَ الْمِدْحَ It is, you have to begin by praising and glorifying Allah. ثُمَّ الْإِقْرَارُ بِالذَّنْبِ Before you ask Allah to give Him, to give you what you want, you have to first acknowledge your mistakes. You have to confess your sins. Even if you want to ask a human being, if you know that you wronged someone, you're not going to just ask them for a favor. First, you're going to apologize. You're going to admit your mistake. So when we recite dua, we begin by the, with the praise and the glory of Allah. We acknowledge who He is. Then we confess our sins and our shortcomings. ثم المسألة. And then we present to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our needs and our requests.